Jordan Seaton question. How's it been? Well, it's been good. It's been, uh, you know, hard work, like literally hard work. Coach Prime don't play, and then uh, me being there coming freshman and uh, having a big role as, uh, as I do, I got to come in and, you know, can't be the 19 year old that I am, you know? Jordan, so many freshmen uh, struggle just with that, that adjustment uh, to college football. Where do you feel like you are in that regard? Do you feel like you're acclimating pretty quickly? Do you feel like you're catching on? Yeah, everybody struggles. I have bad days in practice, but. Uh, I rather it happen in practice and on the big field. You know, um, I'm not perfect at what I do, but I'm gonna try to chase perfection. So that's that's really where I'm at right now. Do you feel like you fit in well, like physically and all that, though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stank, strength staff is good. You know, we got the guys from Georgia. You know how they claim Georgia football is the best and stuff, but we play football over here too. So, Jordan, it seems like there's been quite a few scraps between offensive and defensive line on the field here yeah. during practice. From what we can see, can you speak to maybe that competitive nature of the team this year and the edge you guys want to play? With? Passion. Uh, I feel like the O-line last year lacked passion, and right now we got a lot of it. We got a lot of dudes. We're just going at it. Same dudes. Uh, one dude might have a bad day today. Next day is, oh, I'm getting back at that guy. So I feel like passion is what uh, this offense and defense has the most, and uh, integrity, like, with them themselves. Just self-integrity. You've transformed your body a lot going all the way back from the beginning of high school to now. It feels like you even leveled up a little bit between the time you got here on campus. What does that look like to, for you and kind of what has gone into that? Um, Actually, I'm on a diet right now. I've been eating straight fish for about going on two months, like a month and three three weeks, month and three weeks. Uh, Chef Solomon upstairs, he makes me a personalized uh, plate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I've been very grateful to him because he's been a big part in transitioning my body. And then just going to lift and working. So, what is the experience compared to, based upon what you thought it might be when you were getting recruited, when they were pitching things to you? Has it lived up to the villain? Uh, better. I actually thought this place was actually going to be really, really bad. Um, this is my opinion. You know, everybody got their own opinion. But I took a risk, and then me coming in and having Coach Prime and everything he told me that he was going to do, he did. Everything that Coach said uh, he was going to do, he did. And not as far as like. It's better than what I thought it would be. You know, like you got the mountains. I've never been out here. I'm from I'm from the DC area, Maryland area. So it's like I'm city boy out here. We got mountains. You get like a sunny day every single day. I never had that before, so that's good. And it's like I'm back at IMG with the Florida weather here. You know. So you weren't being sarcastic. You thought it was gonna be bad. No, I'm dead serious. What, up, up until when? My first day. <laughs> <laughs> My first day here. I was like, oh yeah, I like it. What did you think it was gonna be? You say oh. bad. Bad, like nothing really too crazy. Just like, mm -hmm. as far as bad, like it's not college park. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you don't know how much money we bringing in here. So, like, you know, like you go to other uh, universities, like the Big Ten's, SECs, they got ten billion dollar contracts, all crazy stuff. So it's like, you know, I thought I was taking risks, but then coming in here. It exceeded expectation. You actually have a great facility. We actually spend a lot of money on food, as you can see, which I was talking about. And everything's just exceeded expectation from the littlest things to the biggest things. Yeah. So, you said you, so you said you thought you were taking a big risk. What was it that made you commit, even though you felt like it was a big risk? It wasn't like a bad risk. It was more of like taking a chance on myself. You know, not too many people want to go to the I call this underdog school, you know? A lot of people want to go to a school that's built, uh, a school like Georgia, the Bama, is like where it's like your next guy up. But here it's like you never had no five stars alignment coming here. You don't have a Travis Hunter coming here every time. You don't have a Shador Sanders at Kubi every time. So it's like a risk in that area. Not really like it's going to be bad or it's going to be a, a terrible place to live in because if it was terrible, I wouldn't even think about visiting the first time. Um, I was very selective of where I went to school at. Um, so just... Uh, this is a risk as far as like, there's nobody else to do it. So it's like, now it's like, you can really be the first. And, and like that, if that makes sense. That Are the older guys cool with you? Yes. Because you only have fellow, they carry pads and there's hazing. It just happens every day. You'll, you'll find that out at the next level. They, that's what they do with rookies. Hazing, hazing. Hazing, you know what hazing is? And rookies got to carry the pads. Hazing. Oh, oh, like in the league. Yeah, like, in the league. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's well, mild, but that's the yeah, average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, we don't really have that. For me, freshman initiation is just like, listening, you know, like just listening to the guys in front of me. <laughs> they don't really do the hazing or um, 
the fighting, like, no, we don't do that. This is a brotherhood. Brothers fight, but not to the point where it's like, like we don't like each other, you know? Right, right. All right, thanks, Jordan. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you.